Watch. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Christmas Eve. It is December 24th, 2018. It is Monday. And uh, it was, uh, it looks like it's gonna be a white Christmas here at the homestead today. Uh, we had no more snow last night, maybe a dusting to uh, maybe an inch. I don't even know what it exactly came down, but I had to come out this morning and clean off the solar panels again. So, not bad. But, um, okay, so before we get into the topic of today's video, I just wanted to mention real quick that I am doing a appreciation sale um, on my website, preppernurse1.com. And if you go over there, you can save 20% on any purchase that you make that includes Legacy Foods. Uh, Legacy's not doing a sale, I'm doing a sale. So, uh, also, if you're looking to get a t-shirt or a coffee mug, you can get that there as well. At the top of the uh, website, you'll see a banner, which gives you the discount code. And that will give you 20% off of any purchase that you make uh, on the website. So, that is going to run from today until the 31st. So if you are interested, go on over there and check it out. And uh, it's my way of saying thank you to all you guys. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been a very good year. Uh, you know, the, the growth of the channel has taken up. A hey, no! Caesar! Sorry, guys. Um, puppies were going out by the road. So anyway, uh, I, it's, like I said, it's my way of saying thank you to everybody. So... 20% uh, off everything on my website. Okay, so let's get into the topic of today's video. Uh, controversial, yes, it's going to definitely be that. Uh, I'm giving you my opinion, and, uh, you know, people are going to believe whatever they're going to believe, and that's fine. So uh, let's talk about 9-11. Was it an inside job? Was it allowed to happen? And what is the result of it, and what was... BS and what was factual and real, okay? So before we get into this, I want to talk about real quick. I have a cousin who was an airline steward that was in Boston that morning, and he was supposed to be on one of the flights that crashed into the Twin Towers. I believe it was one of those flights. It was one of the flights that was that ended up crashing. I mean, one hit the Pentagon, one crashed in Pennsylvania, um, and two hit the Twin Towers, obviously. So um, I don't remember exactly which flight he was supposed to be on, but he was supposed to be on one of those flights. He was bumped by somebody with more seniority that wanted the flight, and so that's why he was not on the plane. And so uh, it affected him greatly because he knew um, all the, obviously, the, the stewards and the stewardesses that were on those planes. So uh, it messed him up. I mean, he didn't fly for a couple of years, and then he did go back and fly for a little while, but then he just couldn't do it anymore. And uh, psychologically, it, it just it really, really messed with him. So um, I'm not coming from a standpoint of a heartless, not caring person on this, okay? So let's talk about 9-11. Uh, I remember the morning that it happened. Uh, I was getting ready for work, and my wife at the time came in. Well, we weren't married at that point. We didn't get married to the following year, but she was my girlfriend, uh, way pregnant with the twins because this was in September, and the twins were born in October, okay? So, anyway, uh, what happened was we were sitting there, and she comes into the bathroom, and she's like, oh, my God, Ed, a plane just hit one of the Twin Towers. I'm like, really? So we walked out into the living room, and we were watching it, and, uh, you know, it's burning and smoking and stuff like that, and we actually witnessed the second plane hit the second tower. As soon as that happened, I said that wasn't an accident, obviously. At that point, you knew it wasn't an accident, and uh, so... We were just like aghast, you know what I mean? It was just, it was horrible. It was a terrible, terrible thing to, to witness. So, as we were standing there and watching it, and the planes hit way up in the tower, and I don't know if people realize this or not, but the people in the building that were in the buildings were told to stay put. They were not told to evacuate, guys. I don't know if a lot of people realize that. The people in the Twin Towers were told to stay in the Twin Towers, all right? Now, I'm sorry. If an airplane just hit my tower that I was in, and if I could get out, and obviously the people that were above uh, the floor that it hit were screwed, but uh, the people below, I, I would have got out. But anyway, they were told to stay put. And uh, 
And I think it was done for on purpose because I think they wanted the maximum body count that they could possibly get uh, because it was allowed to happen, okay? It was definitely done on purpose. When those towers, when that first tower came down, I looked at my wife and I said, no way, no way that tower comes down like that if it wasn't pulled. Those, both of the twin towers were pulled. They were done, they were demoed, okay? That's what I mean by pulled, they were demoed. There's no way that that's going to happen that way. I don't care. I mean, there's so many people that have come out, engineers and structural engineers afterwards, and said there's no way. There's no way that jet fuel, that jet fuel would have burned off so fast. There's no way that ever that that would have done that. And that the, the, power, that the towers came straight down like they did, those towers were demoed. And if, and if you can't see that, then I don't know what to tell you because there's no way ever that that is going to happen that way if, you know, if that's what happened. I mean, if they were going to come down, they might have fallen over or something, okay? But there's no way they came straight down like that unless they were pulled. So people are not going to believe that. They want to believe what they believe, okay? The other thing I want you to remember, too, in that same situation... The day before 9/11, they had just come out with a report, and it had all these, uh, all this paperwork and uh, boxes and boxes of, of uh, documentation that was put in the Pentagon. They were going to be doing an investigation of a lot of missing money, and I don't remember the exact number it was, but I think it was it was in the trillions, um, I believe. I know I. Anybody that knows that number, please go ahead and put it in the comments. But I know it was a tremendous amount of money they were investigating that had disappeared out of Washington, okay? And that was put in the Pentagon. So lo and behold, where did one of the planes hit? Right into the Pentagon where all that documentation was and that all that documentation was destroyed. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Isn't that amazing? I mean, these are things that people don't realize and don't think about, okay? What is the direct result of 9-11, okay? We ended up with the Patriot Act, which we voluntarily gave up our rights and said, yes, please, take my rights away. Come on, pups. Hold on a second, guys. Come on, babies. I just threw out of sight for the moment, so. Come on, babies. So, but anyway, uh, you know, we gave up our rights willingly. And, and think about this, any time that you give up your rights and freedoms in the guise of, uh, of um, you know, protection, there they are, <laughs> uh, any time you give up your rights under those circumstances, it is, uh, it is definitely, it's, 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 you're being scammed, okay? We were scammed, we were tricked, uh, it was just, you know, the, the whole thing with, uh, you know, that whole situation was just a fiasco. We were manipulated. Uh, it was allowed to happen. They knew it was going to happen. You know, it, it's just, uh, there's no way that they did not know something was going to happen. And it was allowed to happen on purpose because what is the end result of that? We have been at war for 17 years since then. We went into Iraq and Afghanistan. And, uh, you know, and, and I love this one too. Supposedly... Osama bin Laden is dead, but we disposed of his body in the ocean. Now, realistically, let's be realistic, okay? If we had killed that piece of garbage, there'd be pictures and there'd have been soldiers displayed around his freaking dead body. They would have trotted him around like a freaking trophy. I don't care. It's like, oh, well, you know, we, we wanted to do the right thing religiously for him. Screw that. If this was the mastermind of the whole thing with 9-11, uh, that, that body would have been displayed. So you believe that the government said, yeah, okay, we took care of that situation, he's dead now, but there's no body because we, we threw his body in the ocean. Get out of here. No way. No way. He would have been displayed, sprawled out, pictures would have been taken. Uh, trust me, guys, <laughs> it's exactly what would have happened. I don't believe he's dead. I believe he's still out there. He's keeping, obviously, a low profile now. So... You know, there's, we have been so manipulated with that situation. Uh, there was never any weapons of mass destruction found in Iraq. Uh, you know, hey, 
Caesar. Get over here. Sorry, guys. You don't go by that road. No, you do not. So, anyways, she comes right and she'll sit right down by my feet. So, freaking lunatic dogs. But anyway, I definitely want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. I want to hear what you think. Now, I'm giving you guys, I'm giving you my opinion. I'm giving you my observations. Uh, just things that I've seen, you know, with that. You know, if you watch certain films, you'll see puffs of smoke coming out from different parts of the Twin Towers just before they came down. Uh, those buildings were pulled. Those buildings were pulled. They were demoed, and they came straight down. And all those people, all those police officers, all those firefighters, you know, they were patsies in a freaking big game and a big, you know, sacrificing a few people to get the people of the nation on board with what they wanted to do. Uh, all Bush was doing was finishing up what his daddy didn't finish up before, you know. Ridiculous. The whole thing was ridiculous. And, uh, you know, we were we were bamboozled. That's the bottom line. And unfortunately, and I'm not, you know, making light of the people that passed away because of that. It was horrible. Horrible. I was at work one time, uh, one of the jobs that I was at, and I was talking about 9-11. And I was saying that it was, you know, that it was crap, that it was, you know, it was done on purpose. And a one lady got irate. She was irate. I lost a relative in the Twin Towers, and I can't believe you would say that, blah, 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 blah. But if you look at the evidence and if you look at the facts, I mean, it's there, you know. I guess she just couldn't cope or believe that our own government would allow something like that to happen. Guys, we've allowed that to happen, and much worse, trust me. <laughs> I mean, we, we are not the angelic, save-all, everybody, you know, that people are try, they try to portray us out to be. We're just as vicious as any other superpower that has ever been in power. And that's the, that's the bottom line. That's the truth. So, anyway, uh, I, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, obviously. I'll do a video tomorrow, you know, and talking to everybody and stuff like that. Somebody had asked me, do you not celebrate Christmas? Um, we don't have a tree anymore because I have nine cats, okay? So I don't put up a Christmas tree because they will destroy the tree. But we always had a tree for years and years and years. And even when we lived in Greece, uh, the cats would just go nuts. And that's when we only had five cats. So... You know, I just, no, I'm not I'm not having the cats de destroy a tree. And we really, because the place is so small, uh, it's hard. Where am I going to put a tree? So we don't put a tree up anymore because, that, and the kids are older, you know. I mean, I give them money. <laughs> so it's not like we got a bunch of presents sitting under a tree anymore. They're not little kids anymore. When they were little, it was all about, you know, the surprise and Santa was coming and it was great, you know. And I really wanted to have them experience that and enjoy that. And they did, so. But, no, we do celebrate Christmas, so. Uh, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a great time, uh, you know, spending it with time, f friends and family and whoever that you care about. I really do. So uh, remember, guys, I, like I said, and again, I would love your feedback on this video. Uh, I believe 9-11 was an inside job. I believe it was allowed to happen. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Uh, remember, too, we are all in this together. And so, you know, it's important that we keep staying focused on what's important, okay? And uh, remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. That's it. Nobody else. That's The only one that's going to stop you is you. So hang in there. Stay focused. Stay away from negativity. Stay positive. Uh, I hope we have a great next year. I hope next year is awesome for everybody. You know, and it's what you make of it. It really, truly is. Whatever success you have, if you put in the effort, you're going to get it. You really will. I mean, that's just, I, I'm a big believer in that. I mean, attitude is, is so much a part of everything, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. What are you doing, crazy puppies? What are you doing, crazy puppies?